The players of the DRC's national football team were given a hero's welcome when they arrived in Kinshasa from the AFCON tournament in Cote d'Ivoire. Thousands of excited fans ran along the streets as the bus scurrying the players headed down to the country's main stadium. The Leopards, as the team is known, reached the semi-finals without losing any game in the group stages. They went on to beat record winners Egypt in a marathon penalty shootout in the last 16. Their coach, Sébastien de Sabre, was impressed by his team's performance. I'm very proud of the team because everyone who stepped on the pitch put up a perfect show. The players also got along well with the coaching staff. I think the Congolese fans and people in other parts of the world saw that we had the right spirit to win. Some sports analysts believe the team has what it takes to win trophies in the near future. When you look at the team's overall performance, you realize they put up a great show despite losing the bronze medal. The general outcome was positive. The Congolese players showed solidarity with their compatriots who were affected by an armed conflict in the eastern part of the country before the start of their semi-final. They wore black armbands and covered their mouths with one hand and held two fingers to their temples to show the world that their people are being killed but no one is speaking out. That excited millions of Congolese back home. The players did very well to inform the world that they are staying silent as their people are being killed in Eastern DRC. They were letting everyone know that they are playing the match, but there is a problem in their country that should be resolved by the whole world. The DRC lost the third place playoff to South Africa on penalties. But many Congolese are happy that the team highlighted the suffering caused by the armed conflict in their country. Government forces have been fighting the M23 rebels for over two years. The conflict has claimed hundreds of lives and displaced more than a million people. The DRC national team is widely regarded as a uniting force in this country of millions of football lovers. Many fans are proud of the team despite finishing fourth at the AFCON tournament. The country last won titles in 1968 and 1974. The coach is now working on improving the team's weaknesses to get them back to their glory days. Chris Sochamringa, CGTN, Kinshasa, Democratic Republic of Congo.